Hello and welcome back to Summo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, here it is, July already. This year is just flying by. And being July, it is time for the Diecast International Builders July Patriotic Bill. So uh, we're going to take this uh, 71 Hot, Hot Wheels, 71 El Camino. And I'm going to build a gasser out of that. And uh, I think what's more American than, than a uh, patriotic style gasser. So let's uh, go ahead and get this little guy blown apart and take a look at the pieces and parts. And we'll see what we can do about turning this into a gasser. So everybody, please stay tuned. All right, we got our little 71 El Camino all blown apart. I don't really hate this one. Uh, I, li I like flame cars. I like El Caminos. And the 71 was not a, a bad year for it. My brother had a 69. And I always wanted to take an 80 cut the top off of it. Anyway, I already drilled and tapped it for 256 screws. The front one has a 316 inch long one and the back one has an eight inch screw in it so we didn't have a too bad of a blowout it just barely popped through but once it's painted you'll never see it yellow glass which is quite ugly but uh you know it's a gas here so it may not have a windshield in it when i put it back together we'll see what happens uh interior Pretty much what I expect out of a Hot Wheels 71 interior. It does have some gauges and a little pipe hand steering wheel, bench seat. And our base, plastic base, got some gnarly looking uh, exhaust on it. Exhaust dumping out in front of the rear wheels. I'm gonna take one of my little uh, gasser bases. It's a universal gasser base. Got to do a little sanding on the front. But once we apply that to the front end of this, it's going to lift it up in the air just a little bit and throw a little moon tank on there to boot. So that's going to work out just about right, I think. But uh, anyway, that's where we're headed with that. And these wheels, although I like this style, are not going back on it. I want to print up a set of appropriate uh, gasser wheels. Probably either a Krager or an Anson Sprint, something like that. And I have those. I just uh, fire up the 3D printer and get me some wheels I think are appropriate for this little car. So... All right, well, that's all the pieces and parts. So let's go ahead and get that casting in the stripper, get the chrome off the base, and we can start making our modifications. I gotta get into my Adobe Illustrator software and make some uh, decals for it. I got a good idea of what it's gonna be, so. All right, well, everybody, please stay tuned.
Well, before we get to the reveal, let's take just a moment to look back at where we started. This is a Hot Wheels 1971 El Camino. Let's go ahead and we'll get to the reveal and see how this little guy came out. So, everybody, please stay tuned. Well, all right, we got our little Hot Wheels 1971 El Camino all done up as a gasser. And it's uh, been renamed the El Gasamino. This is, of course, the uh, July patriotic build for the Diecast International Builders, or the Dibs Group, as we call ourselves. And... Uh, I've been wanting to do the, the El Camino gasser for a while, and this was a great opportunity. So we tore it down, cleaned it up, got in my 3D printer, and printed up one of my gasser subframes uh, to go in the front. And uh, once we had the base modified and the body all cleaned up, painted it a beautiful gloss white, and uh, once we had it, uh, the decals on, which I created in Adobe Illustrator, I went over the top of it with a color shot, color shot pixie dust, which is a real fine uh, metallic look to it. It doesn't show up real well on the white, but uh, on the decals, it shows up pretty pretty good. Uh, I'm anxious to try it on a larger. Uh, paint job that maybe it'll show up even better but uh, then with all that done uh, we uh, I cleared it with a couple of coats and we uh, went ahead and uh, detailed out the custom uh, Anson Sprint style wheels with the little skinny gasser wheels in the front and the big meats in the back and detailed out the Headlights, taillights, the grill, the moon tank that's part of the uh, gasser subframe. And even gave, went ahead and left the chrome tips for the <laughs> exhaust, which normally a gasser wouldn't have exhaust, but this one does. Yeah, I guess he probably drives it to the, ga to the drag strip and then drives it home if it's still in one piece. And uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. It's not a full-blown patriotic build, but you get the gist. It's white with a big blue, red and blue stripe down the middle and stars. So, in my opinion, which is only my opinion, I think it fits. So, anyway, I hope you like this uh, video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please do. And be sure you ring the bell when you subscribe to be notified of future builds when they're available. And be sure you share with your friends. And be sure you go out and check out the builds that my teammates on the Diecast International Builders, Matchbox Mark, uh, Opa's die, uh, custom diecast uh, that has been... It's run by his uh, son Caleb took it over after Opa passed and uh, Cole over at Cuda's Diecast Customs. So uh, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next.